GitHub Actions is one of the platforms available to run your tests and other coding needs in an automated way. Its integration with GitHub is perfect. It has available thousands of different services and bots, and its pricing model makes it really attractive. The way GitHub Actions work is simple. We're going to use a YAML file to describe the steps that we want to execute as a response to an event in our source control system. For example, when a pull request has been opened or when there is a new commit in our main branch. In order to run our tests on GitHub Actions, the first thing that we need to do is to create a special folder at the root of the project called .github. Then, under this new folder, we're going to create another folder called Workflows. And finally, inside Workflows, our YAML file named main.yaml. Now, inside this file, we're going to start writing the steps that we want to execute, when we want to execute them, and in what type of machine. The first step is to give our automation a name. In our case, it will be calculator underscore app underscore tests. Then, we are going to specify when to execute the tests. In this case, when there are changes on a pull request. Finally, we can start listing the steps that we want to run. We are going to ask GitHub Actions to run these steps on an Ubuntu machine in its latest version. Then, we are going to check out our code using the actions slash checkout action, so we can have our code available. After this step, we also need to ensure that Flutter is installed in this machine as well. To do so, there's also an existing action called subosito slash Flutter action. In any Flutter project, the first step is always to run Flutter packages git to make sure all the code dependencies are available. GitHub Actions is no different, so that will be our first custom step that is not an existing action. Now it is time to run our test in a new step. We can give it a name, like run tests, and then we can specify the command we want to execute in the run field. In this case, flutter test with the flag exclude tags enabled. So we can ignore tests that we don't want to run, like the golden file test, since they can be a bit slow. With this information available, we can push our changes to GitHub and open a pull request. Without any extra efforts, GitHub should add a new check to our pull request that indicates the execution status of our pull request. 